Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to part three of the Burger Prince. Now, the end of last episode, we didn't leave with much of a cliffhanger. I was too eager. I was too eager to un unwrap the envelopes, but we got research desk, which is from the blueprint desk after all. We upgraded our conveyor to a grabber. And look at this, look at this, we got a smart grabber. Now, smart grabber is irrelevant. This could be a regular grabber. This, this being smart is irrelevant because a smart grabber costs 60, a grabber costs 60. Unless you need something specific for a smart grabber, like pulling clean dishes or something like that, or pulling, I don't know, a cooked something. I don't know how you, what else you would use it for off the top of my head for burgers. But point being is we need two conveyor belts, or excuse me, two grabbers to automate cooking of burgers. So what that means is we're gonna buy this. Thankfully we have enough money and we're gonna buy this. And if you remember, we have the grabber from the beginning, which is right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna, and we actually have the research desk, which I'm gonna stick in here. I'm gonna move the phone out of here for now. Let's move some of these out of here. Um, I'm going to actually, the safety of I'm gonna keep. Now, if we end up getting a prep station, well then that's, that's a, a game changer. It's so going to move some of these things around because we have oh, we have to move we have to rearrange here a little bit because we're going to set up a bit of auto burgers, not crazy auto burgers, but a little bit of, of auto burgers. For now. I got to not forget about this thing. So the way you do it is you have to have your burger bin. I'm trying to think how I want to run this. I think I want to run it just like this, maybe or one over. I think it'll be one over, and the buns are going to go like this. You're going to have your combiner here. Again, this could be a smart grabber. It doesn't matter. Turn this this way again. It doesn't matter the orientation for that stuff. This grabber is going to grab like this. You're going to put our faster hob right here. Now, the only issue with this is the way that the dishes are set up. So I think I actually are going to, it's going to, I'm going to do this and this. Now, you may say, well, why do you want this? Well, because as soon as a burger comes onto here, I can grab it and put it on here, and I can grab a bun. So I can always have an extra one ready to go. Plates are here, the sink, this should be fine. And now we can rearrange this a bit. This can go here. The bin, I don't think I'm gonna need the plates. We don't need, this can go back to here. This can go back to here. This can go in here to hopefully get another blueprint desk. But because, but I should not be, not because, but we are pretty much set up now for semi-auto burgers. Like it's not automated 100% because this isn't being pulled off onto something. Now, if we end up getting a prep station and another grabber, or even a regular prep station, because we'll, we'll freeze it, have a frozen prep, and then we could just call, we actually wouldn't even need to have call people. Now, you may be saying, well, why do you, you shouldn't, you should have bought that danger hob in the beginning. Well, yeah, hindsight, yes. But this is going to cook plenty fast enough. I'm not concerned at all. Uh, I wonder if I should almost change up my setup completely here. Put the sink like that and put uh, and slide all this. I'm, I'm going to try that. I want to try this. Because I, all I need to do is run down here, whatever, whatever, whatever is fine. Now, let's go to practice mode just to triple check that it's going to work. And I can also show you guys what practice mode is all about. Burger comes in, it cooks, the bun's there, and look what happens. Boom. It is plated. Or it's it's bunned, I guess you would say. So, that's all we need to do. <laughs> really. Awesome. I'm really, I'm quite happy with, with this setup here. So, let's, uh, let's rock and roll. 17 customers, not a big deal. So, I'm still looking probably for another grabber at this point. Uh, discount desk, not the greatest thing in the world. As you see, I can. Oh, not. I didn't want to do. Okay, I didn't, I didn't want to do. Want to do that, but. Do 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 do. Oop, this is here. This is here. I just got to get used to having this set up like this. Do 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 do. Because by the time one cooks, it's like I don't know if I'd even need that safety hub at this point. Probably not. But you know what? That's quite okay. You can use this as a placeholder. You know, putting these on plates isn't a huge benefit. It doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to ring anything yet because we don't have, um, we, we haven't chosen anything here yet. And I find it, it kind of foolish to do that. I have so many burgers everywhere. So burgers are one of those dishes is when you can automate it. It takes very, very little to automate burgers. As you can see, very little. 
It basically takes two grabbers of whatever type, and it takes a combiner, and that's it. Because you could use the safety, you could use the beginner hob for this. It wouldn't. It doesn't matter. Having some sort of auto coffee would be nice. But I don't really want to set the... Well, I have to get another coffee maker. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to take this right now. I am taking it. You may say, well, why did you do that? You wouldn't needed to. Wouldn't have needed to. Well, I, I wanted to take it. Also, by having the sink here, it is cutting down on the messes that we have. Which is actually a good thing as well. So I always have another coffee ready to go. The coffee should almost go in a, in a prep station. Now that I'm thinking about it, just grab it like that, serve it. Oh, it's pretty. Now, hobs do make mess, obviously. We should make this be the coffee area. So I think overall, you buying using the coffee is was uh, was beneficial. So we locked in the conveyor belt, so we can do a little ring ringing, get these groups in. Because we're not having trouble keeping up with demand at this point, like, at all. Especially when they don't want coffee, no problemo. Get one in there. Serve you, serve you. Now, like I said, a danger hob will be faster. But that doesn't mean that it's better for this. I think this is the last one. Because as you saw right there, we had no issue keeping up. No issue at all. Alrighty, we get our next card. Give us a good one. This will be our last card before franchise. Now... <laughs> our customers now are back up to 21. So again, that's still a bit buggy because it was at 15 for two days. Now it's at 21 again. Fresh patties. The, the issue with fresh patties is if we'd have a conveyor mixer, I'd take fresh patties all day because we already have everything set up for it. But we don't. And I'm not about to start chopping meat because it ruins this automation. So we'll take 25% more customers. It might be a bit tricky because it'll bump us up to what, 26, 25? That's not actually 20 percent but you know, so it'll be a bit more customers but then you know what that's quite a quite all right let's see what drops we get we're definitely gonna get a conveyor belt obviously i need a blueprint desk so it's not what we have at all so hmm what is this a hob um i think so i i don't want to wait for this to become a blueprint desk so i think what i'm going to do is I don't. I think I don't really need a conveyor. I, well, I do need a grabber if I want to have a prep station. I'm gonna reroll one time. Another sink would be nice to upgrade to. Hmm. I wonder what would be beneficial there. Have two two soaking sinks, or to have another grabber. So that's the thing, right? With automation or how you play this game in general, is you can set this up however you want. Basically, there's there's no there's no rule. It's like, <clears throat> what what would we do here? I don't want to wait for another, because the discount test has to cycle through two more times to become a blueprint desk. And I don't want to wait two more times, because by that time, we're going to franchise. And what's the point of franchising it and then getting another desk? I, don't, I have no interest in doing that. So I think what we'll do is let's just, we're going to do one reroll. See what, what luck we get. So that was lousy luck. So let's do, let's do one more. Why not? Oh, another research desk. So... These are both kind of pathetic rolls. Like, they, they're not useful for anything. So I think we're just going to let it roll. Do the next day. Yeah. A prep station would probably be the only thing that would be useful now. I mean, another sink, of course. Another soaking sink, I should say. Uh, we're not set up with another soaking sink. But you know what? That's quite all right. Because the increased customers is not considered a rush... It's not going to be as, you know, bad in that sense. Because it's not a rush. The customers won't all come at one time. Do, do, do. Got to stay on top of dishes, though. That is for sure. Sometimes rushes are actually easier to manage than, than non-rushes. It may sound a bit backwards by saying that. But because you with the rushes, you know exactly when they're going to come. Which could be very helpful for you. Da, 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 da. Right, let's wash these dishes. Let's get a couple. We got to get these dishes under control, of course. Just like this. Another cafe. 
burger for you. I'm gonna wash this one while we're waiting. No problemo. Alrighty. Get these dishes working for us. This is gonna go here for you. Got one ready, ready to go. Two ready to go. Get dishes done. Again, not everybody wants coffee. Now look at the messes that we have outside. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Getting a little crazy there with messes, if I do say so myself. La da 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 da. And I just say, if we have another soaking sink, I think if we end up getting a sink this round, that's going to be what I want to try to do is upgrade uh, to upgrade a sink to try to get a uh, <clears throat> another soaking sink. Again, the basin wouldn't be bad either, but I'd rather have the dishes working for me without having to do anything. Um, but again, that's just my... Oops, wrong buttons. This is my opinion, of course. Again, no there. Like I said, this is almost enough to keep up with one. Again, which is perfectly fine. We still haven't seen anything. We want combiner. Another combiner is pointless. There's no need for it at all. Dude, you see we're caught up on dishes now. So we're we're fine. Like we're not behind at all anymore. In the beginning we're because you get you can get a little bit flustered sometimes. But heck, we're uh, we're pretty much on top of it. There you said three soaking sinks, that's the magic number for soaking sinks for me to do a bit of a solo-ish run like this. Do 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 because by the time two were done, your other one is going to be ready to go. Should be almost at the end of the day. We're going to get a stupid flower pot or something anyway. I really don't want a flower pot either. They're, they're again, a, another pointless item. In my opinion. Uh, let's just take the table. Let's take the table. You should be the last couple groups coming in now. Single group. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that should be it for the day. All right, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. We have two more days to go. Two more days until we hit franchise. I got 100 and the count bonus is going up now because it's harder. So we're up to 22 customers. Now we're going to get to. So we got two dining tables, a sink, so nothing. Again, the grabber is, hmm. So the question here is, do we want to start to upgrade this again? Now, the way that, that soaking sinks work, soaking sinks, you don't need to have a smart grabber because a grabber will only grab it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something like that. And let's just see how useful that is. We're going to swap that and we're going to put this sink here. We will. Te we can't actually test this because we don't have any dirty dishes. But okay, if this ends up not working like I wanted, it's really going to change absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, having two soaking sinks, another one up here would be great. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy the soaking sink or, or uh, upgrade this one to try to get a soaking sink. We're going to bump this table back just so we don't have messes like 100% have no messes now. I think we'll turn off this chair. Otherwise, we should be fine. No coffee tables. Upgrade another soaking sink. Yeah, would be would be ideal here. That hob up there isn't really doing anything like what I thought it would be doing. So we don't really need it there. But if we have a prep station, I think we'll look for a prep station. Prep station, I think, would be would be a good thing. Or a prep station, or if we get another coffee machine, because then I can set up a little bit of auto coffee by using. Um, Actually, or would you, or would a regular grabber work for that? Hmm. No, I'm actually sure. Well, if we get another coffee maker that drops, then I'll I'll explain how that can work. But until we do, there's no, there's no point to, to 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 explain it. Give me a soaking sink. That is another soaking sink. Look at that. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Yep, that says exactly what I thought it would do. Because a soaking sink is an action. Which means that a, gra a regular grabber will not pull a clean, a dirty dish from a soaking sink. Like it would all the other sinks that you have, it would do that. But with a soaking sink, it would not do that. Which is what makes soaking sinks really great. 
Now, this restaurant is way, 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 way too small to set up some sort of auto um, dish setup. Uh, but the fact is that it is still possible. Uh, it's not in this. This style of restaurant is a bit too small for that. Another conveyor belt we don't need. Or do we need? Yes, we do. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. May not... Wow, well, okay. Say, say we may not need it. I don't really <laughs> know if we're going to need it. To set up a little bit of... Not auto... Um, uh, we'll, we'll see what I can do. We'll see what I can do. Because you can link those two together. I'm running faster because of the uh, the buff of the water. I'm just going to wait on this one. There we go. All these single groups, too. So let's just buzz through the day here. We can make a little bit more. Cause we're not really making much money today. But we're getting 10 coins per ring because of what day we're at. We're at day 14, so that's 3 plus a base... I might have been a little bit overzealous doing that, but I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Fine like wine. I'm not worried at all. Did ring a little, a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Not too, too much, but a little too much. Get these guys out. These guys out. Uh, yeah, the, the dish issue now is because I rang too many people. I'm trying to be a little bit show offish. Me? Yeah, I know, right? Me, right? Nah. But we're fine. I'm not worried at all right now. Last groups are coming in. Not bothered at all. Your own burger, your own burger. Good, good, good. Your own cafe. You want no cafe, so we're good there. All right, cafe here, burger here. You just wait on this. There you go. All right, cool. Last ones of the day. So yeah, it was a bit. Oops. Oh, this needs a little plate. That would be. That would not be good. All right, that's the last one. <clears throat> now I went a little bit overzealous there a little bit by doing three rings because it brought in three double groups. But you know what? It's gonna give us a little bit. It's gonna give us thirty extra coins. Look at that. Player count bonus is slightly going up because, again, we're by ourselves. All right, let's see what we get. So we're going to kind of... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is sweet. Now, hmm, how do I want to do this now as far as the... The auto sync thing I think was a good idea, but I don't think it's feasible. Hmm. It's not necessarily feasible. I am just going to buy these. I think I'm going to upgrade the sink again. I'm going to I'm going to forgo using this uh, cuz having actually you know what we can do hold on. Is this going to create more mess but the mess shouldn't affect us. So we can put this here and put this here. Uh no, that's not right. This is here and this is like that. Now, it'd be nice to be able to incorporate... Yeah, this is just more mess, but the messes can't reach us, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think the one on the other side of this coffee machine can reach us. Now, the only way you could auto this a little bit, which we might actually... Might as well do this. Why not, right? Except the only thing is I have to remember that I can't put down a clean dish. But you know what we can do? We can... We can swap this out for this, right? So this is how you can not use trickery. Trickery is not the right word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this like this. So that means I can, I have to be really careful to not reset that though, is it does mean that I can't set something on this, but it will pull a dish automatically into here. And the other one I can do manually. So this isn't ideal, but it's probably as good as it's going to get at this rate. We only have three blueprints on the ground. I'm going to try to get another soaking sink. If we have another one, then I'm not, I'm going to ditch the whole automation of that and just end up using just three plates really. Uh, which should be more than more, which should which should be more than enough. Um, but I'm not, you know, it, it, a lot of it depends. But I think what we're gonna do, debating here. Let's see. Now, do I want to? 
I think, you know, let's finish out the day. The video is getting around 20 minutes now, but let's finish out the day. I finish out the run. See if we can get a soaking sink off of this. If we do, I'll be laughing. Uh, that's a wash basin. Well, you know what? The wash basin isn't, isn't actually that bad. Really. So, all I got to do is just reset it like that, and we're good to go. Um, yeah, the wash basin isn't that bad for this, but I already have the soaking sinks. So, why do I want to have a wash basin, right? Like, there's no... The only issue is I have no way to double do this. I can't get two up. Well, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that. May not may may not seem like the right thing to do, but I'm gonna take it. All right. So this is gonna be done. I can just do that to that, and that's gonna be that. And we're gonna be on cafe, cafe leche, which is not the right thing. This is not what I said it was. There's some cafe. Can cafe's leche is coffee with milk or something? Do do. That's just good. Yeah, this is actually working out pretty good. I can just do it like that. Do that. Do that. Boom, boom. Coffee, coffee. Yeah, I can just do something like that. Oh, this is working out pretty, pretty good if you ask me right now. Oh, forgot to serve them. Sorry, buddy. We can actually do a little ringing. Not that I want to do too much ringing. I don't want to get too overwhelmed here. Actually, going to swap that one out for that. Take their order. So we have a lot of these single groups, which is actually not bad at all. Do another one like that. So I'm using this other one. Almost, it's almost like a dish rack in a sense. All right, you're gonna want cafe one. Let's get burger. Oh, I totally forgot to do the second one. That one. That's for you. This is gonna go into here. You're gonna want the cafe. It's gonna do something like that. Kind of cheat, not cheat the system, but make it go. That's what I wanted. Uh, shoot that I can't do that. That was a bit of a bit of a mistake there. You guys are on cafe So I can go to here this can go to here Let's do this do one more and then we should be good to go Here on burgers good this should be done at the same time that one's fine this can go to there Who's on burgers here everybody on burgers you're on burgers Look at these messes adding up, though. That is a big of a... All right, so that's going to be on that. I mean, I, again, it's the only reason why we're having a lot of backlog now is because I, I rang people. It's the only reason. This one actually go to there. And this one can go to there. You guys are on coffee, too. Double groups, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that because it should have enough time. And it does, and then you guys are on coffee as well. You're on burger. You're on burger. Come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Everybody's on coffee. That's the problem here. So I think having that other coffee table is going to be really, really helpful, really. Really helpful, really. That's how you say it will be quite helpful, if you ask me. Now, one trick... You know what, I'm, you know what I won't do? I, I would need another table. But I might... Hey, franchise! Happy franchise, everyone. Again, it could have went a lot faster. But, you know, I'm trying to explain things. And we're franchised. So, what we're going to do is let's take a peek at the franchise card. Now, variety, basically, all that means is that when, when I, fran well, I mean, whenever I lose this run, I'll be able to come back and it'll become a franchise. And that means the next, next, any, the next round that I play, I have to bring another dish with me. Um, so it could be hot dog, it could be anything I wanted, but it has to be another dish. What goes good with hamburgers? I don't know. Because in the beginning, you're going to have hamburgers. And then, I mean, hot dogs, probably hot dogs. They're not much of a customer reducer, though, but you, you but you'll have two things of buns. You'll have two things of of ham of, of two fridges, so it's not. Yeah, I don't know what I would take, but supply error, shop costs are randomized. That's a very tricky one because you could get a floor buffer, a robot floor buffer for ten coins. 
But then again, your blueprint cabinet could cost 200 coins. So it's, I don't know which is a good one here, but it also gives you 30% more people. So I think I'm going to go with variety here. I'm going to go with variety. I think that's the best choice. I was going to actually leave it as a cliffhanger for you guys. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. This was, uh, stay tuned for part, the next part of the Burger Prince run through. We're going to keep going through overtime, see how far we can get. And I'll catch you guys in the next Played Up episode. Take care now.